which has an income statement format, income minus expenses. Looking at the accounting periods, which are as regular as the menstrual cycle and as irritating, we've got the accounting periods and methods. Introduction. So you must figure your taxable income and file an income tax return for an annual accounting period called a tax year. Note that when we think about the tax year, you're probably thinking calendar year, January through uh, December. And for most sole proprietors, that will be typically the year used. However, you can imagine situations where you can have the tax year and try to get it different than the calendar year. If you were able to use some other uh, tax system or some other year other than the calendar year, you would still have to have it having an annual calculation, meaning 12 months in the year, of course. You can't, you can't have like one year that's got 11 months and the next year have like 13 months or something strange like that. Also, you must consistently use an accounting method that clearly shows your income and expenses for the tax year. We'll talk more about methods later. The primary two methods that would come to mind are more on the bookkeeping side of things, that being a cash-based method and an accrual-based method, noting that in actuality, we're usually using some kind of hybrid method. In other words, for taxes, oftentimes we have a cash-based method, but you can think of many areas where the IRS, the tax code, will force you to do an accrual thing, such as when you have property, plants, and equipment and can't expense it even if you paid cash for it, but rather putting it on the books as an asset and depreciating it. That's uh, an accrual uh, type of activity deviating from a cash type based system. So we'll talk it about the methods a little bit more in future presentations. So useful items, publications that could be useful for this area. You've got 538 accounting periods and methods. You can find that on the IRS website, of course. Accounting periods. When preparing a statement of income and expenses, generally your uh, income tax return, you must use your books and records for a specific interval of time called the accounting period. The an annual accounting period for your business tax return is called a tax year. So these terms sound similar, but they do have some distinctions. Most of the time, they will basically be the same. You've got a tax year, you've got a calendar year, you've got the accounting period with regards to taxes basically being a year, which is usually going to be the calendar year. So you can use one of the following tax years. So you've got a calendar year tax year, and then you've got a uh, fiscal tax year. So you might have a fiscal tax year of something different than the normal calendar year again, that being a little bit unusual when you talk about a uh, Schedule C type of business, possibly something you're more likely to see in other types of entities such as S corporations or possibly C corporations, but there, there it is. Now note that as we get into things like accounting periods and methods, we're diving into basically bookkeeping terminology, remembering that the double entry accounting system is basically a universal uh, type of accounting system. But when we think about different methods, we can think of like a cash based method, we can think of an accrual based method. 